All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to TikTok Shop Insiders Podcast, your source for the latest news and strategies for all things TikTok Shop. I'm your host, Ivan, and we have my good friend, Pat, here. What's up, Pat? How you been, man? Pretty good, man. Always busy. Yeah, man. All right. So we always start off the podcast with some news. Uh, and yeah, I think the latest thing uh, that we've seen in the last week is affiliates complaining about their shop links broken. So a little bit of background. They create the videos and they tag a product that they created the video about. Uh, for some reason, those links aren't working and they're kind of, you know, created the video and now they kind of can't have the affiliate commissions and it kind of throws them in a tizzy. And yeah, what did you see on your side, Pat? Yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely what I saw in, in the communities today. People complaining about like shop links not even being available on their, on their post. Um, my wife personally was like working with a brand trying to um, tag one of the products in in one of her posts and even though it said like inventory was available uh, wasn't able to um, so she reached out to the brand the brand was saying yeah we talked to TikTok and they were saying there's some internal issues that were happening over at TikTok regarding um, their their specific listings and their inventory not translating into TikTok shop for whatever reason um, so she wasn't able to to create this video that she was supposed to tag this brand for uh, on the sample that she received yeah um, so yeah, I mean, that seems to be a widespread problem over the last couple of weeks. Hopefully they've resolved it. Yeah. One, one thing I've learned about TikTok shop or my experience thus far is like, they are working at lightning speed, like faster than any other app development yeah, or kind of sure. uh, platform development. And that's a gift and a curse, right? That's how they're so fast right now. So fast adopting and things changing all the time. Um, but on the bad side of it is things break a lot more. Um, mm -hmm. more often than, than other platforms, like let's say Amazon, right? If a link was broken on Amazon, it'd be <laughs> upside down, right? So yeah, yeah gift and a curse. I think it's just par for the course with TikTok shop. You just kind of have to adapt and maybe expect those type of things happening. Yeah, for sure. Up next is an email that we received, I think just yesterday, but it's, uh, it's, it's for sellers and it's called Your Exclusive Sneak Peek TikTok Shop 2024 Campaigns. So essentially this email is for sellers and it outlines the maybe seasonal selling events that TikTok shop is featuring and um, kind of wants to bring to your attention. Um, we have maybe 12, 10 uh, of these selling events that they outline. It's, you know, goes from March, April, there's four in April, in May, June, two in July, August, October, November, and December. So basically outlines uh, a handful of things. I'll just go ahead and read them off. So in March, there's going to be a spring sale. April, there's going to be a tax savvy category sale, uh, music festival, uh, spring into wellness, spring cleaning, uh, Mother's Day in May, June, summer sale. Uh, July, there's a mid-year sale, which Pat, you know, our background is in, uh, is in Amazon. So that would probably resemble a, a Prime Day sale, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they're going to probably try to go hard to compete with with Amazon. So I expect, um, you know, big TikTok funded coupons that they're they're going to be pushing because they're going to, you know, right. there's going to be a lot of attention on e-commerce in, in the month of July, especially with Prime Day. Yeah. And then July, uh, back to school, August, back to college, October, fall sale, November, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then December, holiday sale. So essentially, um, TikTok shop is going to do TikTok shop and be, uh, you know, e-commerce space and have as many promotions as possible um, just to kind of get that shopping bug in all of its um, kind of wide watchers and viewers. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we have, uh, you know, two two clients that were registered for the spring sale that's going to happen in what, five days now. Um, and it, it was a bit unclear on like how much, so TikTok was going to fund the coupons for, for their products, whatever is registered. It was a bit unclear on how, what percentage they were going to fund. Like if we created a 50% off coupon, does TikTok cover the entire 50%? Uh, that, that it was a bit unclear, uh, but they're set up. And so we'll see how it goes and report back um, to, 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 you know, for any findings and learnings that we get from the first sale that we're involved in and then apply for the next one. Yeah. So some of the things that TikTok, shop outlines in this kind of, uh, kind of promotion preparation email is one is like, uh, make sure you have sufficient inventory and, you know, set your prices, right? Those are kind of 
you know, two things. You don't want to be promoting something you have low inventory on and then making sure that your pricing strategy is at least, you know, paid attention to, right? Going into these sales, you don't want a full price product. You want something that, you know, maybe you have a, you know, promotional price on or maybe even a flash sale, um, which will increase conversions. Um, uh, like, yeah. So anything to add there or pretty much straight? Yeah. I mean, just making sure everybody is on the same page, um, especially if we're working with with brands, having having their ops and inventory, expecting, you know, a potential boost in in sales um, and making sure they're all ready for that to cover um, right. cover any influx of orders that come in. Something also, it's like um, affiliate messaging, right? You have all your affiliates mm -hmm. having your products prior, right? Um, it'd be great to let them know, hey, we have a sale coming up. We're going to be discounting a little bit. It'd be a great opportunity for you to make another video so that you know you guys can get your commissions. Um, yep. So that's a kind of another uh, point there. Yeah, using those those uh, discounts for for hooks at the beginning of the videos. So right. you know, from from the super viral successful videos that I've seen, a lot of the common thread is they're using some sort of pricing hook in the beginning, like, hey, this, example, you know, this thing is. $80 on Amazon, uh, on TikTok shop, it's like 60. Um, you got to go right. get it now, right? Like creating right. urgency. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that all the time in my feed. Um, some really amazing news up next. Pretty awesome. And I was kind of, you know, just enamored throughout the whole conversation of this possibility. But um, there's a thing called uh, TSP, TikTok shop partner, uh, within uh, coming from TikTok itself. And essentially what that is, is a someone from inside TikTok shop that we liaison with and through that relationship us as an agency gets a ton of benefit right so TikTok gets clients or kind of you know uh, gets uh, sellers on their platform through us having relationships with previous clients or previous brands that we've dealt with, right? So some of the amazing things that we get for being a part of this program is that um, the clients that are binded to us, there's a kind of uh, there's a there's a step in there where we kind of bind brands to our kind of client uh, our, our uh, agency umbrella. Those that are binded to us get priority for issue resolution. So their listings are down, their inventory is weird. Um, you know, they get denied for you know X, Y, and Z. We get to the front of the line with our clients and kind of get their issue resolved faster. And kind of um, you know, you know, it, it's amazing, right? What do you, yeah, what do you that's, a, that's that's a huge one because the main complaints that we've heard from brands that we talked to trying to get started on TikTok Shop have been complaining that they have they are unable to get a hold of anybody at TikTok to help them. With yeah. Them. The problem. So this is a huge benefit uh, for being part of the TikTok Shop Partner Program. Um, you know, that's that's going to give you know us an advantage, the the brands that we work with, an advantage to to do more on TikTok Shop, get their stuff resolved a lot faster. For sure. I mean, I'm I'm excited for that. You know, if we can yeah. tell a potential client, like, yeah, we have an inroad to getting your problem fixed, get you to the front of the line. It's like, mm -hmm. well, yeah, of course, you know, so. Another amazing aspect is uh, access to beta programs. Um, TikTok Shop has a CRM, uh, Customer Relationship Management, I, I believe. But like, what they do is there's a way for TikTok Shop brands to reach out to their uh, to their customers, and a way to do that is, for instance, an example is like abandoned carts, and you know someone has adds their product to the cart and they don't check out. Well, now you can reach out to them and say, hey, here's a discount code, 10% off if you buy. And obviously that's huge in, in, in the retention world. Um, and we would kind of get access to those type of things um, for, for the clients that we have. Um, I, don't, I think she was saying not every client that we have, but those that are eligible, you know, bring it to their attention. And if, they, if it fits their bill, then they'll kind of put them in the front of the line as well. Yep. Yeah, it's a case by case basis, as I'm yeah. sure everything will be um, with this program. All right. And then maybe the ice, like all these are amazing in and of itself, but the icing on the cake is that they're going to refer clients to us, right? So as we do well with our current clients, they're going to have a Rolodex of agencies that they trust and, you know, do great work and refer us clients, which is, I mean, a TikTok referral to us is, you know, invaluable. So I'm more than excited uh, for this opportunity. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Now to the next stage of the podcast. Um, we want to talk strategies. We want to, we always want to kind of bring some, you know, uh, you know, not just floating ideas, but like how to get to the nitty gritty and get those sales. The topic we want to cover today is the ultimate guide to an Amazon, uh, I'm sorry, 
ultimate guide to an optimized TikTok shop product listing. Um, we're going to cover things like title, images, video, description, uh, pricing and promotion strategies, um, and then kind of like shipping strategies, free shipping, et cetera. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to share my screen. So those listening uh, won't have this, but we're going to do our best to describe it uh, audibly. Um, but yeah, essentially just go into TikTok shop or use our data tool, Calo Data, K-A-L-O-D-A-T-A. -A -A. We're going to have a link in the description um, for this, but it's a TikTok uh, data analytics tool, which shows product listings, uh, uh, affiliate videos, and kind of data sales numbers, et cetera. So we're going to use that tool, look at the listings, and kind of analyze them, see what we think is you know performing well. You up for that, Pat? Yeah, I mean, this is this is the you know the the building blocks to every successful TikTok shop, right? You have to start with your listing. You got to make sure everything's squared away so that once people once you get people to your page, they're going to convert. For sure. Uh, up first, we're gonna. I wanted to start with a product that was selling very well. Um, this product has sold five hundred fifty-seven k over a half a million dollars in the last week. It's a collagen peptide. Um, I don't know what brand it is. I forgot what brand. Micro it's a, ingredients. Micro ingredients. Um, yep. But taking a look at their listing, um, it leaves a lot to be desired, right? I don't think they spent a lot of time on it. I think they just essentially did what everyone, 99% of the TikTok shop people do and pour over what they have on Amazon or their website and kind of just you know hope, hope, uh, get get started sooner, which is great, which is what everyone should do. But now, like if you can imagine, like if you had an optimized listing of conversion point increase would increase your your sales and etc so some of the things off the bat what are some of the things that you see off the bat uh pat yeah i mean right off the bat in their product title um, it looks like they've connected to shopify um, and so one common thing we've seen is any brands connecting the shopify to port over their listings you don't include your brand name in your product name on your website so when that ports over from shopify over to tiktok shop it leaves that out so you know one primary thing is you definitely want to include your brand name at the beginning of the product title so people know who they're buying from um so they're they've left off micro ingredients here at, at the you know at the beginning of their title right yeah and i also noticed off the bat they're using five images um i think you can have words upwards of like seven to nine um so in you know increasing that adding more brand story more um pros uh to use the to um what, what the benefits of the product are. Um, I don't see any like people in their images, in mm -hmm. right? Products in use, in use um, you know, something we use in our uh, kind of Amazon background is if you're, if you as a, a person are buying something online, you want to be able to see that another human is using it or drinking it and making that like mental connection. Like, oh, this person is drinking it or using it. If it's like a, you know, a, a glove um, that goes a lot, a long way versus just something that's kind of floating out there. Um, scrolling down, anything else you see, Pat, as I'm scrolling down? Um, I just wanted to take a look at their variation. So one thing we found too is, um, when people make a sale, right? If you have different flavors of a product, okay. So this one doesn't have any, any different flavors, but, um, when you make a purchase on the back end, when you're fulfilling, it'll take the, uh, the, is it the parent title? The of, parent of title. The product? Yeah. In the order, which can be confusing, right? So if you've, um, listed unflavored for this one that has unflavored but if they had variations within it for other flavors for example um, it could be confusing if you have that flavor in the parent title if that right. makes sense so if you get a if you get an order um especially in the very beginning make sure it's mapped correctly right because if you're just reading it sometimes tiktok shop will relay the title of the parent listing and not the child um, but if you have everything kind of automated and set up, it should go, it should go by skew and it should flow correctly. But, you know, definitely in the first couple uh, iterations of a test order, uh, you want to make sure you're paying attention to like variations if they're coming through correctly. Yeah, great point. Um, anything else? So like other things that, you know, we'll review this with other listings that we think are amazing, but the description has a lot to be desired. Um, it's only, you know, a handful of words um and you know again port it over from maybe their dot com and you can there's some of these listings have like an amazing visual aspect similar to like amazon a plus content which we'll review in a second um another one that pat 
uh, another brand that Pat uh, likes a lot on TikTok shop is Jackery. Uh, anything you want to kind of point out here, Pat? Yeah, I mean, they, they right off the bat included a big badge on their on their main photo, which might be against, you know, the TikTok TOS. Uh, but I've seen a couple brands do that, and it's a good way to stand out, especially in the um, the, the search results, right? If you're searching for portable uh, power stations or whatever, having a big badge on that that first photo uh, really stands out. Whether they can keep this long term, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but it's it's definitely something that I've seen other brands implement in their yeah. their main image. So this is definitely against TOS, uh, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like there's so many things that are against TOS that everyone does normally, right? Both on Amazon and on TikTok shop. And it's really like the game is what's that fine line? Where's that, you know, happy medium. Um, I imagine this is going to get removed or taken down or policed. Um, but at the same time, like until then this brand has a leg up over the next brand. So it's like, why not do it if it's going to be a slap on the wrist or who knows, but every kind of brand has their own strategy. But you know, our job here on TikTok shop insiders is to like expose not exposed, but like to, to, to show what are the different strategies and you can decide on yourself if it's correct for your brand or not. Yep. Yeah. Next, next big thing that stands out to me is their price. Um, they're, they're using a, uh, price discount to, you know, have in red text minus 25%. Um, I, I'm checking on Amazon right now to see if that thing is priced about the same. It's actually cheaper on TikTok shop, which is great because, you know, that gives creators the ability to say, Hey, you know, I found this, Jackery 300 on Amazon for you know 249 on TikTok shop it's forty dollars cheaper buy it here buy it now right um, that helps yeah. drive virality TikTok seems to really love that when you know when you push that pricing difference on TikTok shop versus other platforms um, yeah from from the viral videos I've seen that's that's definitely been a, a common thing yeah yeah I think pricing is huge especially when you think about it on channel um, how it relates to your dot com how it relates to Amazon is something you guys need to pay attention to. Um, it has a strike through price, uh, 209 to a full price of seven, or I'm sorry, 209 to a full price of 279, which yeah, Pat was saying is a 25% discount, which is huge in the eyes of a, of a shopper. Um, but yeah, playing with that pricing and, uh, what, what perceived promotion or deal that the uh, customer is going to get is huge. Yeah. Another one that you just scrolled past at the top that we, I don't want to scroll by too quickly is uh, free shipping. So there's ways to you know have badging yeah. on your listings for free shipping, um, especially TikTok shop TikTok shoppers. A lot of the listings I've come across are charging for shipping because they are fulfilling out of their own warehouses, right? Um, so they have to make up that cost somewhere. So having you know if you do offer free shipping, there's ways to have badging on your listing for that too. So that's a good. Yeah, that's thing. great. You know, running a test, um, playing with the pricing, all the same kind of story. It's like you know, do your test. What works for your brand? Pat, you love this part. Um, Yes, I'll let you go. Let you yeah, go for sure. It. This is, you know, for, for people who um, are able to see the video, it's, you know, we're scrolling down into their product description. Now, um, at the top, they've done a great job at, you know, filling up the product description with with keyword heavy text. It looks like it's the bullet points probably from their Amazon listing. Um, you know, I noticed because it's the, the capital letters at the beginning of each bullet. But right below that, they've included a lot of lifestyle photos. This is very similar to the A plus content that you see on Amazon listings, right? So it's big, nice, wide, images of the product in use, uh, beautiful photography, while also highlighting a lot of the product features um, in a nice graphic way and easy to digest and, and kind of scroll through. So I love that. Yeah, so I just did a quick search on Amazon as well. And I don't, it's, I'm trying to see if it is the same exact content and it looks like not exactly the same. There's a lot of similar. Yeah, yeah. Actually, some of them are are uh, repeated uh, images. So it, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of just took their Amazon A plus content, repurposed it for TikTok Shop. Yeah, I've seen a diff different approaches to this. These uh, Jackery is using kind of like shorter photos. I think there's there's not a lot of restrictions as far as what dimensions you do, um, but I imagine they're using smaller photos because you can see many more photos in one view of your your phone, right? Mm. Um, versus there's other brands that we'll probably look at in a bit that take up the whole screen for one one section one photo mm -hmm. will take up the entire screen and then you kind of scroll through so mm -hmm. this was they're taking a less uh, a minimal scrolling approach with using shorter images yeah another thing i want to add here is it's not as difficult to add a plus content or i'm sorry th this content on tiktok shop as it is a plus content on amazon um with this content it's just adding an images 
uh, adding an image or images to a, the description and adding it kind of like a you know, add image like you would normally to like an email. Um, so yeah, it's a lot easier. It's not A plus content where you need to get approved, et cetera, submit, um, all that stuff. So um, mm -hmm. if you haven't, you know, done a, your uh, TikTok shop, what we call A plus content, uh, I would definitely take a look into that. Yep, for sure. Um, oh. One thing we are missing, but will probably be in the next example is video, right? Um, that's going to be another chance to, to, to add to your content here. For sure, for sure. Up next, we have WISE, W-Y-Z-E, which is a uh, kind of a affordable video security uh, camera. I actually have these cameras uh, around my house. It's like $29, $30 for a camera that you can essentially watch whatever you want, right? So I have it like in my front yard, backyard, and then in the kitchen just to kind of see what's going on with the kids. Um, but yeah, they have an amazing listing. I don't know. We should check, but uh, if it's just porting over Amazon stuff or if it's, uh, you know, tailored for uh, TikTok shop. But uh, what are you kind of seeing here in, in, in this one? Yeah, they, they're taking full advantage of the full all nine photos, which is yeah. great to see. Um, they're also offering that same uh, discount as well. So they have mm -hmm. a strike through strike price through. Yep, offering some sort of discount. Their product title includes the the brand name. It's actually very text heavy. I didn't realize right. you know, uh, titles can be that long. There's probably mixed schools of thought. Amazon used to be the same way, right? We used to keyword stuff product titles on Amazon all the time. Amazon kind of moved away from that because mm -hmm. it was getting too too difficult to read. Um, but for now, people are, are are trying probably that same strategy on TikTok Shop to see if that helps their SEO at all. Yeah, you, you'll see here um, shipping is not included, so there is um, you know no free shipping badge, uh, and they charge for shipping. So. You know, maybe run a test of what you would do if you included chipping in your in your cost. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, cool. And this one does include a video. I don't think we can view the video from from desktop, but um, right above their product description uh, will be a, a product video that highlights their their thing. So, yeah, it's probably that one with the black background there. Um, oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah about that. Yeah. Yeah, so within the product description, the below the fold area, um, there's a section in there where you can add a video. And um, yeah, take advantage of that. You could put your TikTok videos on there. Or you could put your you know brand focused videos on there, but put something for sure. And then as you can see, or as I'll describe, their A plus content is you know super awesome. Uh, a lot of call outs on benefits and you know what are the features, what does it give you? Um, number one best selling camera on TikTok shop. Well, you can't deny that uh, a lot of feedback and uh, follow like following that with a lot of copy about, you know, again, it seems like it's Amazon bullet points, but yeah. that's actually an interesting thing that they're, they're saying within their content, because I know Amazon themselves are very touchy on using both full language, using like any type mm -hmm. of claims in their content. So it seems mm -hmm. like wise is able to get away with it. If, you know, if they can obviously prove it, um, right. I see them all the time. So they're likely are the best selling uh, security camera on TikTok, uh, but what I like about the, this image uh, is it's almost seamless, right? It's like kind yeah. of like an easy scroll through, big seamless image that you know takes you from section to section, talking about features and benefits and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then right below that um, is is the text heavy part where you know they have the the crawlable SEO text with the keywords in it. Right, right, all right. Up next is my favorite. Pat and I were doing some pre-call <laughs> research and kind of looking at what brands are killing it. And um, there's this one. It's called Think Plus Specialty, Specialty Store. It's a uh, that's the brand or that's the brand that's selling the product. And one of the biggest selling products of this last week is this Lenovo Think Plus X15 Pro earphone wireless Bluetooth well, headset. And it sold 819K, so almost a million dollars in the last week. And that's pretty amazing. Awesome, amazing, like kudos, right? Um, after going into the brand and the products a little bit more, you will see that um, there's something kind of fishy to me. It's like, um, essentially, it's not, the seller is not Lenovo. It's this uh, Think Plus specialty store, which is, you know, it's not foreign to see wholesalers and, um, you know, uh, distributors uh, selling products on TikTok shop, which is um, kind of unique. But this is a, you know, Lenovo big brand. So it's not from Lenovo store. And it just kind of smells funny. But anyway, 
I did a search on Lenovo Think Plus X15 and you know on Google, nothing came up. On Amazon, nothing came up. So it's just extremely weird to me, like how this is kind of happening or, or, or going on. Yeah, I mean, I saw subreddits too, um, like the Lenovo subreddit. People were asking, like, is is this a legit product? We bought it from TikTok. We don't they don't know. So, right. uh, yeah, and, and the same thing. They, they were doing research, couldn't find the product on the Lenovo website, couldn't find it anywhere on other e-commerce platforms. So it's a bit weird. But on the other end, their listing <laughs> is probably the best listing I've ever seen on TikTok Shop. Um, you know, Lenovo is in the in the title. Um, they're gallery images are you know top notch um you, you'll you'll see a lot of uh you know product in use features etc they use all nine of the images all the different colors are highlighted and it's just like an amazing listing um on the on the top end and we'll review a little bit later on the kind of a plus content but you know their listing is amazing best i've seen so if there's one to copy it'd be this one this lenovo think plus x15 yeah they do a great job with the images and the product description too um you know, big, this, this is the example I was talking about. So they use each section takes up the entire screen pretty much. And you kind of scroll through each section, big, nice, tall graphics, um, great use of the space looks very professional, which is why, you know, if you saw this listing, <laughs> if this was some sort of like counterfeiter, you would never know because their graphics look amazing on their listing. It looks really legit. Yeah. So yeah, it goes to yeah. show you the power of, of, of fully optimized listing to Right. Really, you know, communicate brand trust, um, uh, branding, all that stuff. So, yeah. So if you know it's someone at Lenovo and this looks <laughs> funny, give us a holler or kind of, you know, we'd love to talk to some of this, see if it's like legit or whatnot. Um, but yeah, dude, their A plus content or the description images. It's like, it seems like it's nonstop. It's mm -hmm. maybe like 10 full scrolls, full pages deep. Crazy. Yeah. And so you kind of, like, you kind of think about like the people on TikTok shop and their, their behavior, right? People are used yeah. to scrolling nonstop right. on TikTok shop. And so they kind of right. adapt to that user behavior within their listing. And so yeah. the old school of thought, right? The old school of thought from that I came from back in e-commerce, like we were trying to optimize for above the fold. Everything had to be short. Everything had to be like on the screen. Not anymore on mobile. It's kind of okay to use taller images as long as you're you know using it correctly. People are afraid to scroll on mobile phones. Love it. Um, okay, yeah. So that's you know our version of you know what the ultimate guide is for a TikTok shop listing. What are the kind of options you have? Some people may not be aware of all the things you can do. So again, if you guys have questions, you know, reach out to us, TikTokshopinsiders.com. Uh, we'd be glad to answer. Um, yeah, Pat, we're winding up. Any kind of last thoughts? Uh, no, no, I'm just super, super excited about what that TikTok shop partner um, yeah, the TSP. You know, program is going to come out to be. Um, you know, that's kind of a, an exciting frontier for, for us as an agency right. and for the brands that we represent and see, you know, really how much support they, they can get. I know they're growing they're, that team super fast. So yeah, I'm um, excited to see what comes out of it. I love it. Yeah, I feel super like the whole time in our me, a slack between me and Pat, I was like, dude, is this real? Like, can we be in this good? Because this would be amazing. Like, I'm pinching myself. Like, can can this happen? So it looks <laughs> looks like we're gonna be in. It's just a matter of formalities of like you know, um, kind of submitting documents, etc. But yeah, again, that's probably one of the biggest things of the week um, that I'm super excited about. For sure. All right. So that wraps it up for today's episode. Um, don't forget to follow us on our socials. TikTokshopinsiders.com is where you, you'll find everything. Um, please, I guess this is new to me, but, uh, leave a review or, a, a rating on, you know, all your, uh, iTunes or, you know, Spotify's, et cetera. It'll go a long way. It shows us that we're doing the right thing. If you got any type of value, please take the time to, uh, kind of give, leave us a review. Um, one last thing, actually, I want to mention, um, it is, uh, a, a special group that I want to create of high level TikTok shop sellers. And, you know, essentially there's a lot of, um, groups out there and the information exchange is, is very high, but it's all very kind of elementary or like new and, you know, not a lot of, you know, strategy being involved. So what I wanted to do is create that high level sellers group and, uh, you know, to talk deeper strategy around TikTok shop. So if you want to be a part of that group, go ahead and visit the website, high level 
highlevelsellersclub.com. Once again, that's highlevelsellersclub.com where, you know, you put your email and I'll kind of contact you regarding, you know, if you're a right fit for the group, but you know, I'll, I'll pretty much, if you have a, if you have a TikTok store and you kind of talk about TikTok shop and strategies, you know, you'll, you'll be likely to, to join. Um, but yeah, essentially that I had a group of high level Amazon sellers back in the day that I still am friends with. And that was a you know wealth of, of, of information for myself. And I want to kind of create that same atmosphere and environment in the TikTok shop space. So again, high level sellersclub.com. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that concludes it on my side. Um, thanks for joining. Catch you next time. See ya.